My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid, fried chicken, popcorn, get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. That's that look. <laughs> That's that look that if you see a fine sister just walking past your way, you hit her with one of those. She know what's up. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this is going to be a, uh, well, before, how rude of me. How you guys doing today? <laughs> Y'all doing today? It's going to swell day, swell day, bad day. Hey, bro, the struggle's real, bro. Can't, you can't do nothing but live. But anyway, so this is going, going to be a uh, quick uh, unboxing video. Um, Not a game. I think the next, what's the next game I'm getting? It's probably going to be that Gears of War Ultimate Edition on that Jesus Box one. I'm still contemplating getting Untold, but I'm not sure yet. So, uh, But no, it's funny because I was actually thinking about getting a mount for my mon for, for my monitor. Because, I mean, y'all haven't seen my setup yet. I'll, 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 show that late. I'll show that later on. But I didn't really have a lot of desk space to work with. And it was just so ironic that... um. Mandy, <laughs> I was trying to remember her name. Uh, Mandy over at Loctech, she sent me a monitor mount to, uh, you know, uh, review, I guess, you know, so I'm, so I'm going to do a unboxing vid for it and then set it up and then, you know, show you guys how it is after. So right now, I mean, cause y'all never seen my, my setup again. So I don't really have a lot of desk space to work with. So it was so ironic cause I was actually thinking about buying a mount and then I checked my email and I got contacted with this. So I was like, destiny. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to unbox this and then set it up. Well, I'm going to show you guys my setup first. Then I'm going to do the unboxing and then I'm going to uh, set it up and then I'll show you guys, you know, the uh, aftermath of what happened. So I actually already opened up the box. I just have to open the box itself. It's like box section. So here is the uh, desktop uh, mon a monitor mount right here. Um, it's for 10 inches through 27 inches. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the back, uh, actually on the back it says it comes with a USB port down like right here in this section. So it, it has a USB port on it. Of course, you can, you know, adjust it to your liking. So wherever you want it to be, you know, you can adjust it to exactly where you want it to be, of course. And uh, it's definitely going to save me space, you know, especially with what I'm working with, <laughs> you know right now so i'm gonna show you guys you know my setup because you've never really seen it you know since i uh got to uh this place so let's begin all right people so here is the setup that a brother is rocking with right now um here's my monitor right there there goes my master race pc down there which i still need to upgrade that sucker but there goes my master race pc i actually been playing you know some games on a steam here's my uh keyboard right here there goes the keyboard there goes the uh, mouse. I like the mouse. Uh, here's the TV that I game on right here. I like the TV, man. I always see people getting on my TV. I swear if I see someone in the comment section getting on my TV size one more game, you're going to run my fade quick. <laughs> you got to just run the fade. Oh, and I forgot about this. Got to take away the start. Hey, bro, you know me. I'm black. <laughs> Anyways, but... um. Man, that's good. But, uh, so, yeah, so here's my, uh, setup right here. Now, as you can see, I don't really have a lot of desk space, right? I don't, you know, pro probably it's because I have this right, right here, but that's how I want, how, that's how I wanted it to be. So the plan is when I set up the mount that, you know, this will, this will not actually be on, be on the desk. It'll be in the sky. That way I can push the keyboard a little bit back, you know, and kind of have more space to rock with. You know, of course I got my, PS3 down there, that Trace Station 4, aka that Remaster Station 4, aka that Indie Station 4 down there. Uh, I got a little bit of, well, I, I just have the games that I'm playing currently down there. The, my, the rest of the games are in here. Um, and there goes that, uh, Jesus Box 1 down there, where it belongs. Beneath. The, <laughs> I'm joking. And there goes some uh, books right there and stuff and all the cords back there. Um, but yeah, so here's the setup that I'm currently 
rocking with right now so um without further ado let's just uh set up this mount shall we all right people so let's get straight into the uh unboxing for the mount real quick though what are those <laughs> i'm sorry i had to do it just one time i'm sorry anyways uh so let's get straight into the uh, unboxing for uh the mount itself right here so i'll just see what we got inside of here so here we got, I'm guessing this is just some other stuff that uh, they sell, you know, showing off their other uh, products and such that they uh, do sell. I actually, I'll, I'll, I'll put their uh, website down in the description box below. So that's what that is. Uh, what is this? I'm guessing these are some refrigerator magnets if you would want to put it on your refrigerator, if you so please. So pretty cool that they included that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm guessing this is the instructions right here. How many steps is this? Four steps. Okay, that's not too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, here are the uh, instructions right here. So, I'm going to have to get my build, I mean, Bob the Builder on. Uh, not too many steps, just how I like it. Uh, guessing this is just a uh, oh, form for replacement, just in case something goes wrong with it, I'm guessing. So, so that is right there. And here's the actual stuff. I don't even know where, where to begin with this. Um, well, let's just take out the the uh, bi <laughs> the biggest thing first. Uh, let's take out this. Yes, and this is the mount right here. And then you can adjust and everything. So let's take this out. Let's just take all this stuff out. Let's take it all out. Take it all out so we can move the box out the way. I'll just put this over here somewhere. Bring all this stuff into view. And here's all of the parts that we have right here. So I'm going to just take all the stuff out the uh, bag like so. And then I'm going to look at the instructions. And then hopefully a brother will be able to build this by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Which I should be able to do. It's only four steps. So uh, just take all the stuff out of the bag. All the stuff that's in this bag. I'm going to put over here. Put this over here. Take the mount out itself. All right, so I pretty much got everything out of the bags and such like this. So here is the mount itself right here. Not too big, nice and uh, compact for what I need for my setup. Uh, here's the uh, USB port that was uh, provided down below. Also have some ports right here. I'm guessing, is this for headphones maybe? Maybe. Um, here's the stuff where you plug it in towards the back. So here's the mount itself. Here's all the other parts right here. Here's the instructions. Now my brother, just gotta set this sucker up. So after some trial and error, a brother has finally set up the mount. I did the uh, clamp method. Uh, the clamp method is where like it clamps to the, to the bottom of your desk. Or you could have done, you know, the traditional to where like you drill, I, I guess, a hole into your desk and you can do it that way. I did the clamp method just because I had no time to do that. <laughs> so I got the uh, mount set up. So uh, let's check it out. Here's a brother's new setup right here. Nothing too special, but just like I said, now I have more desk space to work with. Now my keyboard is pushed back further instead of being like this close, you know, out. And now I have more uh, mouse space to work with. Like I said, I use the uh, clamp method. So the mount 
is actually clamped to the bottom of this desk without no screws being involved. That was the easy way to do it. I didn't feel like drilling a hole, in, you know, into my desk. So, um, but like I said, you can pretty much adjust it to whatever angle you want it to be at. You know, you can turn it this way if you want to. My bed is actually faced this way. So if I was, if, if I was in bed and I still wanted to see, you know, what was going on on Twitter or YouTube or, uh, <laughs> browsers, uh, <laughs> I could just, you know, turn it this way like so. And I'm in the game. You can also adjust the height. You know, you just want, if, if, if you want it to, to uh, be lowered, you can just push down like so. And now it's lower. You just have to use the uh, wrench included and adjust the height and uh, the back of uh, the mount. So, I mean, like I said, it was so ironic because I was actually thinking about getting a mount. And then they contacted me with this and I was like, hey, bro, why not? <laughs> you know, so um, I like it, man. I really like it. The only thing I maybe the clamp method wasn't the best way to do it for me because like, I mean, it's sturdy, but, you know, it, it is a little shaky, you know, and maybe I should have did the traditional drill a hole, you know, in, you know, actually into my desk and do it that way to have it as sturdy as, as, as I want it. It is a little shaky, but it's not bad, you know, so, um, but aside from that, I mean, that's really all, all, all I have to say about it, man. I definitely will be using this. I have more desk space now. So again, uh, Mandy over at, uh, Lock Tech, I appreciate you for, e for, for contacting me about this. Lock Tech as a company, I appreciate you guys for giving me this opportunity if you will. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to check out any of their uh, products, I'll put the, uh, link to their website in the description box below. And, uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You have a good night.